Okay, guys, so for these little cu coffee cup cozies that you're going to make on your Addy, you are going to need some scrap Heartland yarn. Um, this is all left over from making my hat and scarf sets on the Addy. So just a, just a little bit of scrap. And the reason I suggest Heartland is that is about the best yarn to run through your Addy machine, my, uh, the Addy Express. That, it works perfect through mine. Um, any other yarn is so grabby and it's not, ugh, it just fights it. So I recommend that yarn. yarn. Um, and then I used some of this puffy paint. I got this at Walmart for a dollar something. And I just put a couple of dabs inside to help it grip to the to the cup so it doesn't fall off. And a needle to weave in your ends, scissors, and then I have these little chip clips. I get these from Walmart. You can find them hanging on different end caps throughout the story. Just they 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 have a whole bunch on the the little cardboard piece, but something to something that you can clip onto your to your yarn to give it some uh, weight through the inside of your Addy. And then we use the Addy Express. Okay, so get your supplies together and let's get started. Okay, so to get started, I am going to anchor anchor it down. Just like this. All right, now I'm gonna bring my first black peg right here, right, right past the yarn guide. Right there. So it's my first bat. My first black peg is up. So now what I'm gonna do? You need at least, I'd say a good foot, foot and a half maybe, uh, tail, because that is part of what we're gonna use to. Um, sew our little cup cozy together. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna, you know what, actually, I had to redo this earlier because my yarn is really frayed and my knitting machine just was not having it. So I am going to get rid of this first little chunk. I'll use it for something else. Okay, I've got a good link there. Now these little clips, like I told you at the beginning, I got these from Walmart. You can They're hanging all over the little end caps everywhere. Okay, so what we're gonna do, to start off, we're gonna go in front of that first black peg, behind the next, in front of the next, behind the next, in front, behind, in front, behind. Do that all the way around until you're back to where we started, which should come up to being the front again. So I'm going to put my yarn in my yarn guide and I'm going to do one full pass. Now this first, this first, um, round we're casting on and it's, my machine does not like it at all. And you'll see, it'll try to fight it a lot. Okay. So now it's getting ready to click right there. So now I'm going to stop and reset my counter. And now we're going to do 40 rounds. There, see how much easier it is now? I don't know why, but that first round, my machine hates it. And it, the same on my king. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my, my clip. And now I'm just going to keep an eye on my counter to make sure it doesn't skip a row or anything. And I'm going to do 40 rounds. So I'm not going to make you guys watch me do 40 rounds. So I'm going to pause this and I'll be right back. I wanted to come back on here because I forgot to tell you guys about my tension. All I'm doing is just letting it glide through my fingers. I'm not holding it tight or giving it any resistance. I'm just holding it through my fingers. Just like if you were crocheting. Nothing special. Okay. I just wanted to show you that. I should have said that before I paused the video, but <laughs> all right, I'll come back when I get my 40 done. 
Okay, so I just finished round 39. So now I'm gonna go one more round till that first black peg pops up. And that is round 40. So I'm gonna cut, and again, I want another long tail because that is what we are going to use to uh, sew it together. I had, oh, here it is. Okay, so now to get the project off, I am going to thread my yarn through my little needle, take off my yarn guide. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this, don't let your yarn go through your pegs. I'm just gonna turn this for a few rounds, but I'm keeping my finger over the empty, over the, the uh, slots that we're getting ready to bring the yarn off of, I keep my finger on there because I don't want them to pop off these little teeth right here. So I keep my finger on there and I pick up one and go to the next, go to the next, and go to the next. And after you do just a couple of these, you can start doing more than one at a time. But again, keep my finger over these empty teeth. Pick up, pick up. Put my finger over them. Dang it, I keep getting tangled up. Last one. Oh, I'm sorry about my phone. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, is we want this to lay somewhat flat, like just like that. So don't pull your tails completely tight, just pull them until they lay flat like this. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two ends and we're gonna make little cups like this and then we're gonna bring them together and then sew through all four of the layers just like that. So I'm gonna cup this one like this and cup this one just like that and bring them together. And I'm gonna pinch all, it, all of the pieces together. And now with one of the tails, doesn't matter which, just sew through all the layers, right along that edge. I'm gonna whip stitch them. Go all the way to the edge. Ooh, I just poked myself. Just like that. And then when you turn it inside out, ta da! It looks cute. Okay, so turn it back. Now I'm going to take my two tails. And I am just gonna tie these in a knot. Well, I don't need all this extra length. I can go ahead and cut that off wherever I set my scissors. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hide these needle, or hide these needles, hide these ends inside of the project, right through there. Cut, and flip it inside out, give it a good pull, and there you go.
Ta da! <laughs> so there's a few little extra things that you can do. I, on this one, put some puffy paint on the inside. I accidentally got some right there. To uh, keep the the uh, cozy from sliding down the coffee cup. Um, oh, here it is. So all I do, well, I need to shake that up better. Well, come on, there. I just put some dots and then let the, I always let it just dry overnight but it says on the bottle it takes four hours to dry flat I just let it set overnight and there you go or with this one you can add a button Just for some little, I, I, bleh, bleh, I cannot get my words out today. A little added extra to the little coffee cozy. So like I said, this is just a quick little tutorial. Oh, excuse me. I wanted to get done for you guys to show you that you can make these little cup cozies on your Addy too. All right. That is it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial. Uh have a great day. Check out my description box. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Alrighty. So to get started, I am going to get my knitting machine. Well, I'm just going to hold it. I'm not going to lock it down. I'm just going to hold it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my first black peg right past the yarn guide. I'm just going to turn... And right there, so it's sticking up. Can you see that? See it sticking up? And I'm gonna take, now we need a longer tail for this. So I'm gonna drop a good foot in there. Oh, I didn't even get the yarn. I'm gonna put my little clip on here. I always get these little clips from Walmart. But I'm gonna go in front of the first black peg, behind the second, in front, behind, in front, behind, in front, behind, all the way around till we get back to that first black pig and that one should come up as in front just like that okay I'm gonna put my yarn in the guide and I'm gonna make one full round and now for the very first round my little Addy Express does not like it it fights it so I'm just gonna work it through here Holy cow, it really doesn't like it. Okay, now I'm going to stop. And that was actually one round. So I'm going to do 39 more rounds. So we need a total of 40 rounds. I did that extra round because, whew, that was rough. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and do 40 rounds and I'll be, or well, 39 more and I'll be right back.